Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how we can write if else condition in a better way, which means that we'll be first writing a code using the if else statement and we'll be replacing that code with something else. So without any further ado, let's begin. So if you see here in the routes web.php file, so there is a dashboard route. So currently I am here in the dashboard and it is just returning the index method. Okay, so from here, uh, we can see here we are getting all the users and passing this data to the dashboard. So in the dashboard, I'm just looping through the users and showing the data. So you can see here I am showing name, email type here. So name, email and type. So this is normal and admin. And also I have this type class in this user model okay so if you see here in the app models user so here is a type class which is simply returning empty string for now so this will return the class according to the type okay so there are two types this is normal and admin and it will return the different class name by looking at this type field so now let's write the code here inside the type class okay so first of all let's use if else statement then we'll use others so here we can say if this type admin return let's say we'll give background color of green so this is the tailwind css class i am currently using tailwind css here uh, if you don't know about tailwind css then it is basically a css utility framework and if you don't want to use the tailwind css then you can define your own class in the front end and use that now let me write another if statement for normal user normal and we'll just return here this is not text let me give the background color okay so here it will be bg mm. so let me give yellow color for the normal and if there is nothing in the type field we'll simply return gray color so in this way we can use if else statement to return this background color okay so let us see the changes over here okay so now if I see here, so you can see here for normal, it is giving the yellow and for admin, it is giving the green. So it is working perfectly fine. But if you look at the code here, so it is looking clunky. Some things doesn't look good over here. Yeah. So now the next way of doing is using switch statement. And I'll show you one another method as well. So I'll show you first the switch statement and then I'll show you the another one, which is guess what lookup tables so first of all let me use switch statement okay so here i can say here this type and here i can say here admin and i'll simply return this from here and let me duplicate this code here and here let's say normal and I'll just paste it here and if and for the default one we'll simply return this gray color now if you look at the code so it is it had just made our code more longer yeah so let we can if we are returning something from here then the break statement is not needed here okay so the break we can remove this break one and now the code looks a little bit more shorter and cleaner than that of the if else statement because we can easily see here the cases and what they have returned but in the if else statement all the curly brackets were making our code dirty so now if i go here and refresh the page here you can see here everything is the same so let me show you by inspecting it over here the class okay so if i show you the class here so this one so this one is this box and this one is the green box okay so let me just bump up the text size so you can share bg yellow 500 bg green 500 which is coming from here this this yeah so now we have seen here how to use if else statement and the switch statement now i will show you how to use the lookup tables the word seems like uh, something big yeah the lookup table but it is simply array so what we can do here is we can simply define an array over here and we'll have the key as this in the case whatever we have here in the case we will be adding that as key and the value will be the returned value and similarly for normal okay so we can say here 
yellow like this so we have this lookup table so we can call this as a lookup table and from here we want to access this green or yellow by looking at the type so here we can pass here this type like this and we'll return it like this now you can see here the co code is much more smaller and looks very clean and now if there is no either admin or normal so what we can do here, here is like this the null coalescing operator yeah so if there is a null or something error goes from here and if something goes wrong over here or it throws an error or exception it will return this value and we can say here bg gray 500 like this now you can share the code looks much more cleaner so let's say there is another role then we can simply duplicate it and let's say normal 2 and we can say here yellow let's say 900 so if there is another user of type normal 2 then we can show this value so you can see here the code looks much more cleaner let me remove this and now if i go here and refresh the page now you can see here everything is still the same here yeah so yellow 500 green 500 we can see this the same color here yellow and green color so what do you think about this lookup table approach in my view it is very much cleaner way of doing things and what do you think about this let me know in the comment section below and also one more thing i would like to say that in the php 8 version 8 we can use match expressions for this one as well so currently i am using php 7.4 so i am not able to use that but if you are using php version 8 then you can use the match expression for this so it is similar to this yeah and which is much more cleaner and i'll be leaving the link of a video in the description as well because i have already made a video about that matched expression so don't forget to see that i'll be just leaving the link just below that like button so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye